everybody. Happy Wednesday. It is I, your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe Seabee. Happy Wednesday, everybody. And today is our uh, creative writing class. And on Wednesdays, we do a, um, an, uh, an exercise that we like to call ghostwriting. What is ghostwriting, you ask? For those of you who've never been here or are just stopping by for the first time, Ghostwriting is when we take a song that's in the Billboard Top 10, Top 20, Top 100, um, and we write new lyrics for the chorus. We use the same melody, the same music, only we, meaning us, write a new lyric. Now, the thing that we got to do is um, it's got to be the same amount of syllables. So if like this song that we're emulating, if it says like, um, I will be the one, every one of those lyric, every one of those words have to be one syllable. I will be the one, you know. Uh, but if it says like, me and you tonight, that would be, that last word would be two syllables. So it would be me and you tonight. So your words would have to be the same amount of syllables. Um, why do we do this exercise? Well, it's a really great creativity exercise for your brain. It's a really good exercise to jumpstart your creativity. Also, um, one, of the, uh, one of the biggest reasons that I do this um, is because as songwriters, and I say this every week, but I, I, I got to repeat it. Um, as songwriters, we always write a first verse, right? This is a really great exercise for you to practice writing your second verse in your song because the structurally, the second verse doesn't stray that far lyrically and, and um, you know, tempo-wise and the amount of words that is going to be in it. So read your first verse all the time and then base your second verse on the, the you know, the meter and the structure from your first verse. Um, a really good way to do this, and you know, and here's the other thing, the goal, it's going to sound a little gutsy, but the goal that I want you guys to strive for when you do this exercise is to try to write as good a chorus as the artist that you're ghostwriting from. That's a tall order, I know because they wrote it, right? But what a really good way to do this is um, when you write your line, right? Or when you when you pick the song or, you know, the assignment of the song is, you know the lyric, you go on YouTube they ha or you go on the internet and type in lyrics for whatever song or play lyric video on YouTube and the lyrics will come up in real time as you're listening to the song. Every song on the planet today has a lyric video. So if you're not sure how to find the lyrics, just go on YouTube, type in the name of the song and then write lyrics, okay? And that'll pop up. And then you can pause it and write down the lyrics. Here's what I want you to do. The chorus is the part that always gets sung, you know, every time the same way, right? That's what the chorus is. The part that everybody always sings along to, right? Like in Lion King, it's, can you feel the love tonight? That's the part that, you know, always comes back in, no matter what the other words are. That's the part you always sing. Okay, so that's the chorus, just so you know. Okay, so a good way to do this is to write down the artist, the original artist's lyrics on, like, in a copy book, right? Like a, you know, a notepad that has lines. On the first line, write the lyric all the way across the first line of that artist and then leave a space underneath and you write your line underneath. So you can see that if there's one syllable in that word, then you write a word that's one syllable. If it's a two syllable word, then you got, you got to try to come up with a two syllable word. If it's a four syllable word, you got to come up with a four syllable word. Or as long as it ends and starts the same I don't mind. As long as the cadence sounds similar, then I don't mind. But always try to think that way, that if it's a one word, if it's a one syllable word, then yours should be that way. But here's the other, here's the catch of this. It's got to rhyme, of course, and it's got to tell a story, just like their chorus. It can't just rhyme, okay? 
Um, now the song that we're doing today is an artist, her name is Ava Max, and the song is called Who's Laughing Now? I was listening to a bunch of stuff over the weekend, and I heard this song, and I thought it was kind of cool. Has almost a reggae vibe to it a little bit, um, you know, in the chord progression, and 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 the way it's on the up, you know, on guitar. Yeah, I, mean, I don't even know if there's guitar in the song, but um, the chords are on the up, on the end, you know, like, like reggae, like... <laughs> Like that kind of thing. So anyway, um, I am going to right now, I'm going to play her chorus. So give me a second here. I'm going to play you her chorus. Here it goes. Here it is. Okay, so that's her chorus. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you hers, okay? So it says, Don't you know that I'm stronger? Don't you see me in all black? Don't you cry like a baby? Ha, 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 ha. Who's laughing now? Know that it's over. Don't you know I won't call back? Don't you cry like a baby? Ha, 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 ha. Who's laughing now? So that's, I sung it, but it was like very, very slow. And um, so now I'm going to read you uh, the lyrics that I wrote for it. Okay, so... Um, so I'm going to go over her first line again and I'll show you mine. So it's like, don't you know that I'm stronger? So mine's going, you're the one, you're my baby. You see how mine fits in perfectly? You're the one, you're my baby. And then she says, don't you see me in all black? And I say, see the world, it looks brand new. So... My, now, my story is way different, right? So hers is like, I get the last laugh. Who's laughing now, right? So um, I made mine more like we're together through thick and thin. Like it could be a relationship. It could be a, your best buddy, whatever. But it, it, well, no, I mean, it, it's, it, it's more of a relationship. Like I think of it more like Bonnie and Clyde, you know, Bonnie and Clyde. So that's kind of like where I was coming from in my storyline. So like, I'll show you what I wrote. So it's, you're the one, you're my baby. See the world, it looks brand new. You still make me go crazy, making me lose my mind. Partners in crime, there is no other. You're my number one lover. You're the one who can change me, making me lose my mind. Partners in crime. So that's what I wrote for that. Um, you know, when she does that little laugh thing, See, I didn't laugh. I didn't do like a one syllable thing there. I made words there because, you know, I just, I wanted words there. So, um, so she goes, ha, 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 who's that? So I go, making me lose my mind. So when you hear hers, if I sing my part right over hers, it still fits perfectly, even though I have words. Um, making me lose my mind. So she's, Ha, 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 ha. So it's the same amount of words. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I, I put a little beat to it and everything. So, um, you know, I'll, ch I'm going to, um, I'll play that for you. But, you know, this is not an easy exercise. I'm just letting you guys know this. I'm going to do this in a minute, but I just really want to reiterate that. Um, this is one of those things when, you know, you write it down. And then, right, like I said, right underneath, I want you to start writing your words right underneath, right? Leave a space there for, for your words. 
So you see theirs, then you see yours, then you see theirs, then you see yours, then you see theirs, right? And then yours and so on. And then it, sh it makes you choose your words so much more carefully too. Um, it's, it's, you know, it, it's not an easy exercise. This is a tough exercise. And, um, even for like veteran seasoned songwriters, this is not the easiest exercise. So, um, I'm going to play this for you right now for a second. And then, um, well, here, here we go. You're the one, you're my baby. See the world, it looks brand new. You still make me go crazy, making me lose my mind. Partners in crime, there is no other. You're my number one lover. You're the one who can change me, making me lose my mind. Partners in crime. That's it. That's the whole thing. All right, guys, I can't wait to see what you wrote for that chorus. Anyway, this is your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and your friend Josie B signing off. Until we see each other tomorrow, have a wonderful evening. I love you. I miss you. Be safe. And God bless. Peace. <laughs>